NATO chief seeks $43 billion in annual military aid for Ukraine. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg will ask NATO allies to provide a minimum of 40 billion euros or 43.3 billion US dollars in annual military funding for Ukraine, a source within NATO told Reuters. The funding proposal comes as NATO foreign ministers gather in Prague for talks on May the 31st, ahead of the NATO's Washington summit on July the 9th to the 11th. Foreign ministers will discuss concrete long-term support efforts for Ukraine, as well as changes to how weapons and ammunition is supplied. Stoltenberg has not yet publicly proposed an amount for the annual funding package. NATO officials have previously proposed 100 billion euros or 103.3 billion dollars over five years or 20 billion euros or 21.6 billion dollars annually. Stoltenberg has also sought for more consistent approaches in delivering military aid for Ukraine. NATO is seeking to take over the operational duties of the US-led Ukraine Contact Defense Group, which coordinates weapons deliveries by about 50 countries to Ukraine. While being united as a bloc against Russia's full-scale invasion, levels of support between NATO member states, as well as their public statements on the threat to European security that the Kremlin poses, vary. Ukraine is not expected to advance further towards NATO membership at this year's annual summit due to concerns that the alliance could be drawn into a war with Russia, the Telegraph reported. Despite setbacks to Ukraine's NATO aspirations, partners assured Kiev that the Washington summit would define a specific position for Ukraine's membership in NATO, namely its irreversibility and the roadmap toward it. Deputy Prime Minister for European and Euro-Atlantic Integration, Ola Stefani Shaina, said. Russian territory is under attack of Western weapons. Putin warned about this. Russian President Vladimir Putin warned of serious consequences if Western countries allowed Ukraine to use their weapons to strike Russia. This constant escalation can lead to serious consequences, Putin said. In Europe, especially in small countries, they should be aware of what they are playing with, he added. The Russian leader said leaders should bear in mind the small territory and dense population of many European countries. And this fact which they should keep in mind before they talk about striking deep into Russian territory is a serious thing. He said that while Ukraine would carry out the strikes, the responsibility for them would lie with Western suppliers of the weapons. They want a global conflict, he added. But although warning of Putin, the AFP agency, citing numerous Western sources, said that Ukraine has used Western weapons to deliver strikes on Russian territory more than once. According to the agency, a strike was delivered west of Krasnodar. It did not specify, however, which facility was targeted. The agency asked retired French colonel Michel Goya to comment on the use of Western weapons against targets in Russian territory, and he said that history shows that military assistance of one country to another has never led to a conflict. Moscow has been saying that Crimea is inviolable. Ukrainians struck it with American weapons and nothing happened, he said. At present, calls are mounting among Western nations to allow attacks on Russian territory using weapons that they have sent the Ukrainian military, an issue that is taking on greater urgency as Russia builds up troops on the border in preparation for a possible offensive, according to officials in Ukraine. Recently, the NATO Parliamentary Assembly, made up of lawmakers from countries belonging to the military alliance, adopted a declaration urging NATO members to lift a ban on firing Western weapons into Russia. That came after similar calls by NATO's top official Jens Stoltenberg and government ministers in Poland, Lithuania, Latvia and Sweden. Ukraine has complained in recent months that the ban allows Russian forces to launch attacks from inside Russian territory without risk and hampers its ability to repel them. That disadvantage became clear this month when Russia started a new offensive near the city of Kharkiv, just south of the Sumy region, after amassing troops and equipment just across the border.
Cucuk-cucuk, cucuk banyak.